Holy cow! I think it's probably about 70 to 80 bottoms at least. All right, right now, John's digging out the old pit on, a, on the edge where we didn't go quite deep enough. We're thinking, um, actually, uh, the two bottles were found in the sand layer below in the sand layer, which we, we thought was nothing down there, but we hit some. some. And he's already picked out a couple things off of some of our trash here. We got two bottle tops right here, 1,700 bottle tops right there. And there's three pieces of, of nice blue pottery. Lots of glass still coming out. Bricks. Oyster shell, man. They didn't go hungry with oysters, did they, John? Huh? Man, they had plenty to eat they back then. They love their oysters. All right, stay tuned. We'll see what else we can find. Some of this little piece of pottery has some really cool designs on it. Look at that. I bet that was a beautiful piece of pottery back in the day. Just thinking back, 1700s. That beautiful piece of pottery is pretty cool. All right, John, what you got there, man? Where that uh, Westerwald? That's called Wester... Westerwald. Westerwald. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. I love that blue on it. That's oh, yeah. pretty. All right, keep digging. Look at that oyster down there. Check the size of these oysters the guys were eating back then. You don't see them like this anymore, John. No. That's a big oyster right there. All right, as you see, you end up coming down that dark uh, dirt, and then it takes a nice light, like a tannish color. And we're thinking that's the end of it right there. I'm just running this probe down in there. Make sure we don't get any hits inside this area here. Uh, there's, a, there's a gravel layer in here too that that's in here. You feel it run through sometimes, but I don't feel anything hard, brick, ball, anything. Yet. So that is the bottom of it. Although Matt dug his out of a inside of this layer, so you gotta be careful not to make sure. Maybe probe around as you're going down to make sure it's not something mixed in this layer. But all right, buddy, what you got over there, buddy? That's good. Nothing really good. Uh, but it's got some little bit of glass, glass in there, but pottery. you're probing too, right, buddy? Yeah, I've been, I've been doing a lot of test holes and they ain't come up with much. All right, buddy's doing some test holes. That's why we got one pit right there. He got a test hole here, test hole here, a few pieces of glass, the normal stuff, bricks and uh, oyster shell. I see oyster shell all in it. Yeah. All right, John's down here digging in there. He's got a piece of pottery. Yeah. Right, there it is, there it is. I see it, I see it, man, right laying right in the dirt. That's very cool right there, man. I like it. Look at that, sitting right in there. Man, that's a good pop that thing out of there, John. Let's check it out, man. Oh, you think it might be something bigger? Yeah. Oh man, it is bigger. Yep. Holy no, smoke. I think it's the base of a. Yeah, that, that's a nice piece there, man. I like it. Yep, it's a base. Let's back it up here a little bit so we can see it here. Nice. Let's look out of here. Yeah. Big piece of pottery there. What's this piece? Hi, I like a little variety on my hunts. We're back here in the woods at an old spot that was near the house, but hopefully they may have had a little bit of activity back here. So I'm going to check this out right now and see what I can come up with. Stay tuned. All right, we're back in the woods. Just got a hit, dug it out. I don't know what it is yet. I have not even cleaned it off yet. But it almost looks like a badge or something. Pretty cool looking though, whatever it is. All right, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe some decorative furniture piece or something potentially. Pretty cool looking though. All right, let's keep digging, I like it. All right, I got 27, right, 28, 29. 90 degrees, 28 to 30. It's jumping a little bit on me. So it could be some trash. Uh, Lars and all, does not, you don't normally jump very much. But uh, let's see what we got. We got a big old root here, what we got. Got to get to that root for first. All right, I'll try to get up here. She's still screaming, but it could be trash. Don't get too excited yet. I think we got it out, and I don't see nothing big showing yet, so that's a good thing. Get it out of the ground, and you don't have a big old can looking in your face. I think that's it right there. What is it? It's a spoon. It's definitely a spoon, but it doesn't seem... It might be an old silver-plated spoon, but definitely some activity in here. So we're going to check this out a little closer. That's pretty cool, though. All right, let's keep digging. All right, I believe this could be the old ice house right here for the old 
a 1700s house. Um, iron everywhere in this thing. Definitely not a natural hole right here. So uh, I'm gonna check around here a little bit, but I'm thinking it's an ice house. Pretty cool. All right, the story is the field behind me right here, George Washington camped in this field during the Revolutionary War. It's been hunted to death, I know. But you never know. You might pick up one little thing that they left behind. It'd be awesome to have some Revolutionary War style to come out of this field right here. That would be really cool. Anyway, we're going to keep hunting here. We'll go and check in with the pit diggers here in a second. I just been, I like to do a little variety of things sometimes. Do a little pit digging, do a little metal detecting, just do different things. So, kind of makes the day go by fast. Alright, stay tuned. We're going to hit this field right here a little bit and see what we can find. Buddy, how the pit's coming? Uh, slow, but they're coming. Got I hear you. Stem. Look at that old pipe stem he found. That's a nice one right there. And you actually dated the other one, didn't you, that you found last time? Yeah, it's about mid-1700s. 17, early 1700s, yeah. mid-1700s. That's what we're figuring we're digging out of here. So, pretty cool. Nice one, buddy. Find a bowl to it. I'm trying. Alright, let's go check in with John over who he's got. All right, John's still digging in the pit down here, coming up with some nice jaw bones to the pigs. He has found some nice glass, just dug that out right there, pretty. And he did just dig a, oh, well, he got a whole bottom, too. Whole bottom there, a nice neck, and a beautiful piece of, uh, is that a bowl, John? That looks like yeah. a big there, like a bowl. Isn't that pretty? Man, still Should've coming been, up with some good relics. Chamber got, pot. Uh, chamber pot, he thinks. A lot, a lot of uh, blue uh, pottery in here. I, I love that piece right there. That's actually got a little piece of blue on it too, I believe. Yep. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep Hi, everybody. I've been digging this hole for about five minutes. Got it right down here, probably 10 inches down. And it's something round and it's something copper color. I'm thinking a button. Nice colonial button if it is. It could be a coin too, though. No. Definitely a colonial button, but that is pretty cool right there. I like it. Was not expecting to find one of these, actually. Pretty cool. All right, let's keep digging. All right, it's time to fill this hole in. John's going to do a little bit of sifting on it right there. They already got, what, what another pipe stem? Yep. And a, and a bottom of a glass, right? That was sewn out here. Yep. So uh, you never know what you might miss in that sifting, I tell you. Can definitely pull out some stuff. We're gonna check John Sifton here in just a minute here. Oh, what you got? Oh, John. Oh, that's cool, Ben. That's some kind. Of, what is that anyway? Yeah, it looks like a stemware. Stemware. Oh, you think like a glass or something yeah. like that? Cool. All right, it's sifting time. Let's see what's coming out. You definitely see the glass and all good when you do that, don't you? Yeah. And any kind of pipe stems, anything will show up like that. Piece of redware. Yep, there it is, right there. I tell you what, it's unbelievable what we could have got if we sifted this whole thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. But with the uh, what? That's a that? square nail. It's nails all in this yeah. stuff here. Look at that. Definitely got square nails all in here. Bottle piece. That's a piece of a top right there coming up. I was searching for another pit, but some of these areas got a lot of rocks in like that, and you'll hit these rocks, and you'll think you got some. It's nothing but pebbles all on the ground. It's stacked in there. As you can see, not hitting anything solid. So right now, I'm just looking on top of the ground, looking for any kind of indication, maybe a oyster shell, a piece of bone, anything before I actually try to poke down, get an idea here. A little bit off track, but kind of trying to think outside the box what other people wouldn't, wouldn't do. So let's keep looking around here and see what we can find. Here we go. I just took a hole over here and pulled it out and I had something here it is got something around I don't feel a tab on it right now so it could be a coin it could definitely be a coin all right let me clean this thing up and I'll get back to you because it's definitely looking like a coin don't know yet though stay tuned all right I found out what it is it's an Indian head 1880 I can see the date really good on it but I cannot see the face on it. We'll clean it up when we get home. But uh, normally it's the opposite. Of, the date goes away and you can't see the rest of it. But on this particular one, you can see the date. But not the rest of it too good. So we'll clean it up when we get home and check it out. Nice. I love it. John, you back into it? Yeah, into something. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Look at that right there. there. One, two, three, four bottles right there. Unbelievable. Back into it. Start on the back side of this old pit and starting to hit them again. Love it. All right. Stay tuned. 
All right, John's hard at work here digging all those piles out. I just showed you. Buddy's right here beside him. Check it out. Buddy, what are you doing in here? Trying to find some. Oh, they, that's a brick there, but he just dug all this. three pieces out right there. So we're actually on the back side of our old pit. It kind of had dried up, but it's picked back up right behind. Maybe it's the second pit here, uh, just uh, behind the other one, potentially. Anyway, keep digging here, man. We'll see what we can come up with. Stay tuned. All right, John just dug about, what, four or five out. Now we got one, two, three, like five more in the hole. Let me get a nice close-up view of that right there. Look at them all in the hole right there. Just just stacked on top of each other. John, it'd be nice if they were whole bars going straight down, wouldn't it? Woo! And that could be. We're not exactly going to come over. Make sure they're not a uh, whole bottle right there. Could be. Never know. All right. Still digging tons of bottoms. You got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 20. Probably 30 bottoms over here, buddy. You still digging them too, ain't you? I see one there. I see a bunch in here. Buddy's going down for the count now. Buddy, what are you doing down there? Oh, a nice top. I like it. Isn't that beautiful? I like it, buddy. May have to come back tomorrow, buddy. What do you think? Might have to do it. We don't go hitting bottles like that. The big, the whole ones are down there in that bottom layer for some being in here. So get down there to the good stuff now. Stay tuned. I like it, John. That would have been a nice hole, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. It, that's like a little uh, Chinese, drinking cup. Chinese, uh... Yeah, maybe a teacup or something. All right, buddy's down here in the hole. He has got a neck sticking out down here in the sand layer. It could be whole. We don't know yet. But it's looking good, isn't it, buddy? Mm -hmm. I like it. Super. All right, stay tuned. All right, buddy's got it. Buddy, buddy just moved it, and it moved a little bit, and it came off. Man, that was a close one, though, buddy. Yeah. Good job trying anyway. Maybe the next one. Oh, man, we thought John might have a whole <sighs> bottle here. Well, it, it still could be all there, couldn't it? I mean, you yeah. just have a crack on it. Just it just collapsed on me. Oh, man. Well, keep trying to dig that out. Let's see. That's the most uh, biggest piece of one we've seen lately. Oh, well, you still got the rest Wait, of it in on, there. Hold on, hold on. Look at that. Those things are so fragile. Yep. Yep, getting the pieces out. You piece that, I tell you what, you piece that back together, it will still look awesome, man. Yep. Yep. I think it might be there, man. I do. I think you might have something there. Oh, she's tight in there, isn't it? Yep. Got a pipe stem? Uh oh, buddy just pulled a pipe stem off the side over there. And John is still. You trying working. to steal my thunder there? Man. <laughs> just a We're pipe talking, stem. yeah, pipes and ain't nothing. We're talking about a whole friggin' bottle here, man. Look at that. That's gonna be awesome if it, you got all the pieces and put that together. That is gonna be awesome. Yep. Is that it? You think? Nope. It's still nope. going in There's there. Still more in there. Oh my gosh! Just coming to pieces, but it's pretty cool still to be able to do that, man. Yeah, since it was full of dirt, it had already been broken. Right. So still the edges there. Still going in there. Yep. Look at that. It's yep. just, it's just fractured to pieces, but you got yep. all the pieces to put it together, though. Well, at least all the way up to the neck. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> John can put that together and show it to us later on. <laughs> maybe not later on, but maybe one of these days he will. All right, he's got a few more pieces to get out of there. Yep. Stay tuned. Yep. John, what you got, man? Well, I've got the parts of a whole bottle. Oh, man. He got the whole bottle here. Let's, get, let's put it over there. He's got the whole bottle is here. But he's going to just have to glue it all back together. But that is still yep. pretty cool, buddy. Yeah. Good job, man. I, I can't wait to see it back together. All right, maybe on a future video we'll see that. <laughs> all right, let's keep digging. Man. All right, fellas, we're having fun? Yeah, man. Unbelievable day. It's a good day. John, have you ever dug this many bottles at one time? Nope. This is a first for you? Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's not a first for you, no, I know. We dug over 100 one day. <laughs> Unbelievable day. Check this out. Holy cow! I think it's probably about 70 to 80 bottoms at least. Probably over 50 to 60 tops mixed in here. Uh, we do have some in a bucket here. I ran out of room on my on my showcase here. We got a whole bucket full here, and we got some really really nice. Uh, what do you call this? Western wall? Yeah, that's Western wall. And uh, Singlaze. all kind of pottery in here. Maybe John will put a couple of that together. And we'll check it out later on that. But unbelievable 
I, I tell you, I did dig uh, on my outer uh, foot. Uh, metal detecting, I believe this is a uh, horse tack, right, John? Is that what you think it is? Yes. And you got four tabs on back there. 1880 Indian head, a nice uh, colonial button, uh, five uh, things right there. And that's part of the bow. Did you get that, buddy? Yes. You finally got a piece of a bow. Oh, nice. And this is the only one I dug out of the entire pits. This is the only one. Is a um. Wait, what is this? Case gin. Case gin. Case gin. Uh, John says that is. And I'm sure that's probably 1700s too. Then right. That's pretty cool. The only square bottle did. But they did some drinking. That's for sure, man. Unbelievable. All right. Well, we might be coming back tomorrow. Not sure. We gotta decide that, buddy. Yeah, we gotta. We might just cover this up and come back tomorrow because, as you can see, we've got two going two pits and we hadn't joined yet. We're still digging deep in that one, so stay tuned. You never know where we're going. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. You never know what we're doing next. Stay tuned.